Hi there, Interghost here, and this is another monthly pickup video. Interghost is at the carpool. He's picking up games to show to you. He really likes to play on his view. And if you think you've got a high score, well, that's what Retro Records is for. His ex con team aren't living anymore. Yeah, as you can see, it's very sunny here in the UK, so I thought I'd do this pickup video outside. Um, got a few bits to show. It's very sort of board game heavy, so um, apologise for that if you're just here for the video games, but there are video games as well. So if I go through those first, um, I've got a few Switch games. First one I got is um, Metopia which I wasn't planning on picking up, but um, on one of the Facebook groups, somebody said that it was pretty cheap in Tesco. I think it was like 27 pounds or something like that, brand new. Um, and I was quite interested to see what it was like. I've played it for a little bit. It's very simplistic, but um, also it's quite funny that you can add anybody you like into the story for all the characters. So you can make up any sort of characters, um, any names and that sort of thing. So it's quite funny in that way. and. I would say it's worth a play if you can get it for cheap, but um, if you're not into easy roleplay games then it might not be for you. Uh, I got three games from um, Limited Run Games. Now these have been, um, these were ordered ages ago and they said that they dispatched them, uh, but then it wasn't being updated on the um, tracking. So I thought these games had been lost, I contacted them and they said uh, they probably have been lost, there's nothing that they can do about it, but eventually they did turn up so um, I cancelled the, um, the claim with them and i um, really happy to get these. So we got Shantae, which is a remake of the Game Boy Color game, um, played this for a little bit and it's not that great, however it is based on the original Game Boy Color game. So. Uh, you've got to take that into consideration uh, for what it is and for a Game Boy Color game it's pretty well made uh, it's just when you play the uh, other Chante games it doesn't really stand up to them um, but the Game Boy Color game now goes for a few hundred pounds so it's really good that they really re-release this on the Switch um, so I'm happy to have that and we've got Chante Risky's Revenge which um, I also think is a remake of one I haven't played this one yet but yeah, I just want all the Shantae games. One of them, the Pirate's Curse, is going for stupid money on Switch now. But I think that's the only one I'm missing. But I'm not paying three, four hundred pounds for a Switch game, so uh, I probably will never get that one unless they re-release it. But yeah, that one's uh, Risky's Revenge. And finally, uh, Scott Pilgrim uh, versus the World, the game. Uh, this is a side-scrolling um, retro-style beat-em-up game, uh, a bit like Streets of Rage. Um, very sort of arcadey coin up style game uh, played it very quickly uh, just to try it out and yeah it looks really good fun uh, I need to put some more time into it though so I haven't really played it too much but uh, happy to get that one as well originally only came out on download um, so it's really good to get the physical version uh, then I got some Master System games first of all I was telling you about this one though I got uh, an extra controller now these sort of go for about £15 normally, uh, I saw this one going on eBay for £8 I think it was, um, so put a bid on it, won it, it came through, it's absolutely filthy, it's covered in dirt and grime, um, so I've cleaned it all up, um, there's a bit of a dent on here and a bit of a split on the wire there, cleaned it all up, plugged it in and unfortunately it doesn't work so I've contacted the seller to see if I can get a refund for that I'll send it back to them but uh, yeah unfortunately not working now I've got um, six games first one is one which uh, I thought looked really cool um, I went to a local game shop and traded in a few games and um, got this one it's quite quite a pricey one it's 25 pounds uh, but I've seen some reviews on it and it look pretty cool and I love uh, Brand Stoker's Dracula the film so uh, yeah it's boxed and complete with the manual and I've been playing this um, 
there's a few cheap deaths in it and there's a few little little things I'm not too happy with which I'll put in the review when I complete it uh, but overall I think it's a really good game and well worth picking up uh, plat side scrolling platformer game um, horror game so that's cool a uh, game I picked up from eBay I think this was about five pounds four pounds something uh, doesn't have the manual but you know I've got Sonic 2 uh, Sonic 1 is a classic so I had to pick that one up really to add to the Master System collection a uh, lot harder than I remembered it to be as well. I'm used to playing the uh, Mega Drive version, so I'm not sure if this one is harder than the other one, but I just find this one quite hard to get through. Now, these four games I got from a Facebook Marketplace um, purchase. The person had different prices on them, but he wanted £15 for all four of them, so I thought that was a deal. I contacted him, and um, somebody else had said that they wanted to buy them, so I said to him, if they don't turn up for them which a lot of times people don't to let me know I uh, didn't hear anything for a couple of days contacted him said uh, did you sell those games he said no he didn't so he sold them to me so we got alien free I don't know if that's got my, don't think that's got the manual no, no manual on that one but that's um, side-scrolling shoot em up game and you have different missions to do I've played it quite a bit on Super Nintendo but not so much on the Master System had a quick go on it and it's uh, quite good fun uh, manual on that one and it's McDonald's Global Gladiators played this one a little bit on the Mega Drive back in the day never played the Master System version um, it's pretty much the same thing with just um, less fancy graphics and yeah it's quite a fun little side scrolling collect them up game you have to collect the little McDonald's signs um, before you can exit the level then we got Secret Command no manual in that one. Now I think from watching uh, another video, this is a Rambo game, I think, but they had to change the name. Um, so it's Secret Command, and yeah, you're basically uh, a little guy, you have to go from bottom to top shooting enemies as they come down the screen. Um, sort of like a run and gun, um, arcade style game. Uh, quite good, I've only, only had a little go on that one. And finally we have Afterburner, however, it's not Afterburner, inside it had a double game cart of Hang On and Astro Warrior. So I contacted the guy and said, um, you put the wrong game in that box, have you got the um, Afterburner game or the box for uh, this one? He said, no, unfortunately not. Uh, so I wasn't too worried, it's 15 pounds for all four. And um, Hang On and Astro Warrior, pretty good games anyway. So I'll probably pick up the Afterburner cartridge loose from eBay at some point and put it in this box. So those were, uh, yeah, four games, £15. So very happy with them. So that's all the video games. So I'll go on to the other things now. Um, Dungeons & Dragons. I mean, as you know, picking up a few Dungeons & Dragons things. Um, this is D&D uh, spellbook cards for martial powers and races. Now I've got all the other spell cards now. These are ones for character classes that do not have uh, spell abilities, but they have abilities which are similar to spells, like special moves sort of thing they can do. So it's cards to use for them. Um, so yeah, nice little pickup. I think that was only four pounds, four pound fifty. Picked up a few DVDs. Um, been watching quite a lot of movies, uh, but I do notice on the streaming channels there are a lot of movies which aren't on there. Uh, so if you want them, you have to get them on DVD. These ones are all out of the boxes because what I do is I take them out of the boxes and I put them in like a filing thing I have so it keeps them all tidy and doesn't use up space and I put all the boxes up in the loft. Um, first one is We Are Still Here. Now the reason I got this is I watched another movie um, the other night, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was a horror film and um, I thought it was a really good, well directed movie. Um, I told my brother about it and he said they also made this film. Unfortunately this one is not very good at all so I wouldn't recommend getting this one but uh, for a couple of quid all of these DVDs are like one or two pounds posted so you don't really lose much but yeah I wouldn't recommend that one. My son Jack and I are working through different series at the moment and one of them we worked through was the Die Hard um, series. I had one, two and three so I picked up Die Hard 4 or 4.0. Uh, which isn't too bad and also a good day to die hard which is die hard 5 which is absolutely rubbish so I would not recommend watching that one I don't know where I picked this one up but I picked it up in a charity shop it's like 50p 
and it's the last stand and it's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in it and I don't think I ever saw it when it came out so I love his films and it looked like a bit of a tongue-in-cheek action film which it is um, it's also got Johnny Knoxville in it um, and yeah it's, it was worth a watch 50p not not bad I, I would recommend watching it if you love his films another series we will work through Jack and I uh, is Halloween uh, we watched all the original ones and then we watched the um, remake version by Rob Zombie um, which isn't very good but uh, this is his second one Halloween 2 which is even worse it's probably the worst Halloween film out of all of them but yeah we've watched all the Halloween films now uh, I think there's a new one coming out this year so that'd be interesting and talking of series um, we wanted to watch the Robocop series so I bought the first one on Blu-ray again it's probably about two pounds uh, watched it still a classic really good fun film um, highly recommend this one uh, then I went on to eBay to try and pick up Robocop 2 and Robocop 3 uh, but unfortunately for some reason nobody sells them separately they only sell them in the trilogy so I had to pick up the Robocop trilogy box set uh, which has the first second and third film in it uh, again I think this was like two pound two pound fifty so I'll just sell on the first one which I've got separately uh, we've watched one and two uh, two was quite funny um, one is obviously the best one but I remember I can't really remember number three but I remember he flies around with a jetpack at some point so I think that's gonna be awful but we'll probably watch that one tonight so that's all the uh, movies I picked up and then finally I picked up uh, quite a few board games not intentionally first one I picked up because uh, I just went down to my local um, gaming shop and I was looking around in there just to see if I could find anything I like and this is a uh, small world expansion obviously got the original small world game and I've, I've got expansion box number two because you, you can buy them out of order and this is um, expansion box number one which is uh, be not afraid and spiders web um, small world you have a map you have different classes and races which you put on the, the map you have to sort of spread out as much as you can to take up uh, areas and you get coins for the more areas you have but if you spread your uh, cat your race too thinly then you have to um, get rid of them and start a new one basically this one gives you a load more races and a load more classes like jobs for them so um, yeah really good addition um, can't remember how much that was like 20 25 pounds something like that this one was a Facebook Marketplace pickup and it's Ticket to Ride Europe. Now I've got the original Ticket to Ride. Uh, basically you have um, on the original, you have the map of America uh, with all the different um, cities on there linked up by train lines. You have to draw cards which give you different colored trains and then you have to fill in the, um, the routes in between the different cities. Uh, you have cards which you have to, um, it tells you which cities you have to link up. Uh, so tickets to ride Europe is the same as that but obviously set in Europe rather than in America um, not played it yet but it's pretty much like the original one but with a different map so it's more of like a uh, add-on to the original game really so that would be a good one now these uh, five games somebody was selling all of these on Facebook for £50 for all of them they're all brand new they're all still sealed inside all the cards are sealed the cardboard tokens and not being pushed out there um, punched out the um, sheets so they're all brand new uh, this game on its own goes for about 55 pounds brand new so uh, to get all of these for 50 pounds was a bargain um, I'd not heard of any of them I don't think um, no before I picked them up uh, we got Vectaculum which uh, I learnt yesterday and played with uh, my wife Michelle and Jack um, basically you have four traveling circuses and you have to lay out tokens on the board and you have to buy and sell um, performers in the circuses and make money it's quite a good game uh, quite a quick game about half an hour and well worth the play uh, I've got Deadwood um, I've just read the instructions to this but I haven't actually played it uh, you have a board with different, uh, it's set in um, Wild West times in America uh, and you have different locations like the sheriff's office, uh, the saloon and that sort of thing. You have to lay out on the map and then you have to take over the different locations to earn money. If somebody comes into your location then you have a gunfight to 
decide who captures that area and you have to keep doing all this uh, and you get wanted posters at time you have a, like a gunfight and once the wanted posters get to a certain number then the law arrives in town and the game ends and whoever's got the most money wins this one is legend of the five rings this is probably not one i'm going to play it's a card game uh probably sell this one on it goes for about 20 pounds on ebay brand new so um get a bit of my money back it's a deck building game um but from looking at reviews you basically have to buy sort of like four or five of these core boxes to have a, a, any sort of decent um, game of it and then there's all these expansion sets you have to buy so it's a very expensive game to get into um, you have to buy all the bits and pieces to build up your decks uh, so I probably won't play that one Olympus now I've not really um, had a look into this one yet I haven't seen any reviews but what I think it is is in um, ancient Greece um, and you have all the different gods and factions and you have to sort of build up people, build up money, buy areas, um, it's very much sort of like take over a, a city type thing and then the person who earns the most money by the end wins the game, that's what I think. Um, but yeah, it looks quite good but again I haven't really looked into it. And finally, this one's a bit, a bit strange, didn't think much of it but it's called uh, Fog of Love. Um, I thought it was just going to be sort of one of those games you play with like your your wife or your partner and then you have to answer questions that sort of thing but it's not it's um quite it's actually quite a good game uh very different you play as a character not as yourself um uh, man or a woman um you can have man and a woman or two men two women however you want to play it and basically it's a game where you start off and you build a character with different traits different occupation different needs and then um, you have different scenarios where you meet with another person and you fall in love. And then you have to have different situations you both deal with and then you have to vote on how your character would um, interact with that person in that situation and then you get different points allocated to different things like sensitivity, creativity, stuff like that. Um, you have to try and fulfill your goals but also try and get the other person to love you and feel, fulfill their goals as well so that at the end you both have a good relationship and you don't break up. Yeah, so it's, it's very different but it's quite fun. It's, uh, it does say it's a romantic comedy as a board game and yeah, it's quite funny. Some of the situations are quite good. It's just interesting the way you sort of interact with each other and you both have to vote and try and try and think what they're going to vote and also think about your own sort of goals as well at the same time um so yeah i'd say i'd recommend that game so there we go i've probably picked up a couple of other things that i can't remember um but that's all i've picked up for the month of may and um i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching uh, if you can leave a comment below that would be really good i do read all your comments and reply to all of them as much as i can uh, if you like the video thumb it up if you didn't thumb it down and um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.